While most of Debbie's techniques are pretty solid, no-nonsense approaches to self-defense, and grounded in reality, this one had me scratching my head. She claims that a slap to the side of the neck will disrupt the blood flow through the carotid arteries, even though she's only attacking one of the arteries, and we have two, and she's obstructing neither one. So I had to find out for myself if a hard slap to the side of the neck really can knock somebody out, or if this was just some clever acting in her self-defense video. All right, we're going to test to see if a open hand slap to the carotid artery can knock me out. Joyce, are you ready? Yeah. Right, go ahead. Um, I think I'm still conscious. Am I still conscious or is this a dream? I think I'm still conscious. Here, Joyce, try it again. Now, it wasn't comfortable, but um, I, I still appear to be fully conscious. Um, maybe on the other side. Hmm. I think the lights are still on. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to say that perhaps an open hand slap from a significantly smaller person is not going to cause a knockout. Now, again, it's, it's not comfortable, it didn't feel nice. Um, if I wasn't a nice person, I might want to retaliate, but uh, yeah, you probably need a follow-up if, if that's your go-to move in a fight. What do you think, Joyce? Yeah, okay. We're going to try this again. I'm going to close my eyes so I don't know when Joyce is coming. Uh, I don't know which hand she's going to attack with. And uh, I'll just stand here with my eyes closed and wait. Joyce, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, I still appear to be among the land of the living. Uh, thanks for participating, Joyce. Sorry, I tried really hard. <laughs> All right, we'll do it. But it won't work. We know, we know. 300 quadloos on the red shirt. 500 quadloos on the newcomer. 10,000 quadloos on the crazy Asian guy. <laughs> <laughs> Now, pay close attention to these five ancient Earth women self-defense techniques from an ancient website known as Five Minute Crap. I think it was craft. No, I'm pretty sure it was crap. Humans of the 21st century seem to have had the same capabilities to perform the Vulcan neck pinch as the people of planet Vulcan. However, their 24th century counterparts seem to have devolved and lost this ability for some reason. Only Vulcans can do a neck pinch. It's so tight right now, your grip. I cannot even think straight, Brian. Exactly. What you do is grab the back of your head with both of your hands. Good. And you're just going to sink right on down. Ah, 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 ah. Wow. Jeez. Oh, that, that hurt. Very tough. No problem. That will allow you to skip. Andrew is going to put a rear naked choke on me. And uh, what they taught in the video is that I'm supposed to pull the pointy part of my chin down into his elbow to activate some hidden secret magical pressure points right here with both hands. Are you ready, Andrew? Yeah. Apply the choke. Randy. A severe choke to tons of crunches. That will give you enough core strength to fight off your attacker. Break the grip here with the knuckles and to a finger lock. Remember, as you turn out, use that finger lock to a motion here. From here, we're going to teach you a technique. Um, I'm going to break the neck. 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 The hand that's not being used comes to the jaw. It's kind of a swift motion. I let go, release the jaw, and push and pull back. 
We'll see what happens when, when we uh, cooperate 100%. Okay. Okay, so I've got Marco from behind, grabbing his shoulders right here. Um, I'm not sure what grip he had, maybe this one, because he's got to get a hold of the fingers. Mm -hmm. and he's going to get a hold of my fingers, peel them off, get me in some sort of finger lock right there, mm -hmm. bend them, keep bending them until I end up on my knees right here. All right, he'll get behind me, do the Hollywood Ninja neck break, grab the chin, and remember, and uh, push and pull. Dead. Dead. <laughs> I'm gonna fight back a little bit. First, this is a problem. Yeah, so I'd say I'm, I'm not holding on that tight, but um, yeah. Let, let, let's just skip this for a minute. Go, go ahead and let's just imagine you, you have this. Okay, he's got the fingers. So go ahead and now I don't I don't like this and, and he could potentially break my fingers. But um, it's not putting my, me on my knees. But look, let's let's just pretend it does and I'll skip ahead. He's got me on my knees. Now he's gonna do the uh, the neck break. <laughs> <laughs> Petrified of the ground. I actually think the ground is one of the safest places to be because our legs are longer and stronger, and it's an awkward position for a bad guy to come down. Probably the scariest thing that people have asked me about is if someone has you and they've straddled you and they have you and your hands are back over your head. You're still not without something to do. You want to still move your hips. Our hips are are bony, and yeah. imagine what their most vulnerable. Thing is that's right there and it's open so if you can manage to just wiggle your hips a little bit mm -hmm. you're probably going to throw them off balance all you need them to do is get off balance by one hand and you've got a strike mm -hmm. version goes so our opponent is mountainous he's pinned our hands to the floor and supposedly he's bigger and stronger and so you know we're not going to be able to arm wrestle these away now in theory she says we can wiggle our hips and that's going to free one of his hands play along man <laughs> Get that hand on the mat. Bad guy's on the ground, he has hold of you and he brings you down. Let's go ahead and take it. If you have gravel or dirt or anything. Bad guy. He's right on top of my will. What will I do? This one here, bad guy's on the ground. He has hold of you and he brings you down. Let's go ahead and take it. If you have gravel or dirt or anything like that, pick that up and just smash it right into his face. It's my own business. Whoa, bad guy. Ah, he's pulled me in the full mound against my will. All right, grab some dirt, smear it on his face. In this popular women's self-defense video, everything that follows is preceded by the assumption that a karate chop to the wrist of this knife-wielding attacker will disarm the knife, allowing the woman to land a series of disabling strikes on her attacker. But the question remains, can you disarm a knife with a karate chop? Let's find out. Ali will try to karate chop it, and again, he's a brown belt in karate. He knows karate. He's an actual karate guy. That's what I do all day, every day. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's got powerful strikes, so if anyone here should be able to karate chop this out of my hand before I can stab him, it should be Ali. Okay, I'll try really strong. One time. Not Ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. What's <laughs> going on? And I really tried hard. I really tried hard. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Go ahead. Oh. You okay? Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Full power. Ah. Okay, maybe she's stronger with the right hand, so just change sides. No, change no, no, sides. No, no, no. Change sides. Uh, can you try it on the other side? 
I also. <laughs> okay. This is, I'm sorry, it seems to be hurting Juju more than it's hurting me. Yes, because it's just this place and you can blur bone here. Yeah, she's hitting my hard big bones with her, her little softer bones. How yeah. dare you to be strong? <laughs> how dare you? All right. How about you guys? Do you think any of you can knock the knife out of the hand? I think he can. He's a strong guy. Okay, he's, he's a pretty strong guy. He can hit hard. Okay? I'm kind of worried for my safety. Oh. Okay, try it again. That, that doesn't feel nice. Try to kick the knife. Maybe like three or four or five. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, I'm not liking the way that feels on my arm, but um, how many was that? Five? Six? Yeah. Yeah, it's probably gonna be bruised up tomorrow. Anyone else want to give it a try? You can. Yeah. She wants. Okay. Okay now. Now, bearing in mind, if this was a real life attack, I, I would not have already been hit like six or seven times in the arm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not even going in fresh. But go ahead. Stronger. Power. Are you okay? Yeah. I feel pain here. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I think it's hurting her more yeah. than it's hurting yeah. me. We're going to try out some techniques to, f to defend ourselves against multiple attackers with guns. I have my doubts, but they wouldn't put it up on the internet if it wasn't true, right? Let's give it a try. First, exactly the way they described in the video. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you my wallet. Surprise! Okay, now let's try it full speed. All right, total realism this time. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you my wallet. Next, we're going to do a who did it better version of our self-defense critiques today. This time, this technique comes from our friends at Split Second Survival. So if you're attacked by two attackers with guns, one has you in a chokehold, one has the gun pointed at your guts, you're above a pit of sharks on fire, um, I may have made that last part up, but let's see how this goes. First, exactly as described in their video. I put my hand in the trigger guard right here to stop him from firing. I deflect this one so he shoots himself. I disarm, shoot him, walk away. Now, let's see what happens full speed against actually resisting opponents. Ready, guys? So, obviously we did the technique incorrectly, otherwise it totally would have worked. So we're going to try this out again, because it's very important to make sure that the details are just spot on or else what's... Hold on, what's that up in the sky? Oh boy! It's, it's Captain Crab Maga! Wow! Wow! Captain Krav Maga, it's really you! That is true! I'm coming all the way from training an elite force in Israel. After that, I've just been here at the aerobic studio to teach the same lethal technique to a bunch of girls. I gotta learn this stuff, man. I think I'm using way too much energy to fight. Okay, he's got three people. And he's got that, that headlock from behind, one on each side. What's he gonna do? What? No way, man. That's incredible. What's his secret? I want to come from a different place where you don't feel my power. You feel my compassion. Of course. It's not about power. It's about compassion. All this time I've been doing it wrong. I got to get to the gym. Show this to the guys there. They're... It's going to blow their minds. Let's go. Now that I've trained in the true ways of uh, chi powers. You guys get a hold of my arms, and I will find the spaces and fight you with my compassion again. Ready? Go. I think we 
should take him to hospital or something. Well, better you need some medical treatment. Let's get this guy. Whoa. What's this? Oh, look. Because of compassion, they have ceased their assault and they are taking me to the hospital. It totally works. Success. I'm gonna take my inside foot and step outside here. This is gonna allow me to turn my hips. So with my hands, technique is called wheels on the bus for the kids. So all I'm gonna do, keep my hands up against the wall, turn my torso, bringing him into the wall. From here, I have strikes from here, strikes to the throat. I can deliver kicks to the shin. Mm -hmm. In this scenario, I've got my hands pinned up against the wall. So he's pressed them tightly up against the wall. Go ahead. Tightly. Yes. Yeah, because I'm And free. now, we're going to mark through this just to show that we know how she did it. So he's going to cooperate a little bit. I will cooperate. So I'll step behind. He will turn. His back is up against the wall, and then I can strike him or whatever, and then, ta-da, I win. Bravo. That's, that's the, the wheels <laughs> on the bus technique exactly as shown. Now we're going to have some resistance. All right. Now step behind. And, okay. Yes. That kind of put my back up against the wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the <laughs> worst position, but yeah. okay. that, maybe, maybe the other one. Okay, go ahead. Okay. All right. And you say you're just going like 30%. Yeah, I'm actually going like maybe 10%. I'm I'm just like holding my arms are stretching out there. Yeah. Okay. Good Clearly. try, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that we're not going 100%. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it 100% oh, full power. 100%. Full power. Okay, ready? Go. Other side. And watch me just side. switch so back and forth a little go. like this. Okay, let's start with this. Okay. Break. I don't know. Um, yeah, good luck to you <laughs> defending yourself. As she swings her hips, this is used to escape both from a rear attack or a front attack. So, I realize there's a bad guy behind me. So, preemptively, I will clobber him from behind. Let's see if this works from the front. I see a bad guy approaching. Preemptively, I'll get my defense going. Now, let's try it against resistance. Now, we'll go from the front with resistance. used in aerobic self-defense is to escape from a rear attack. When you butt, make sure that you keep your knees bent and you lean forward. All right, I'm gonna try a rear attack without resistance first to see uh, what this butting does. Now we're gonna try with resistance. Ready? So hard to grab in that suit, man. Hold on. Did this just actually work? Th that can't be right. We gotta test this again. This time Jordan's gonna be the attacker. I think this one might actually have potential, as silly as it looks. So if I can preemptively here go and try to grab me. I can't believe it. After all the self-defense techniques we've tried, this is the first one that actually works at all. Seriously, this.
Jordan, there is one more technique that you must learn. Turn around. The creepy, unwanted back massage. Which is a technique that I might try to do if I was sneaking up on somebody. Uh, you are violating my safe space. And full speed it should look like this. He is the one. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. People are petrified of the ground. I actually think the ground is one of the safest places to be. Wait, what? I actually think the ground is one of the safest places to be because our legs are longer and stronger and it's an awkward position for a bad guy to come down. If you're fighting one single unarmed opponent who sucks at ground fighting worse than you, yeah, go to the ground all day. But if you're fighting multiple opponents, get up. But then again, she's the expert. Let's see what happens when we follow her advice. I am on the ground like this, okay? And imagine, like, say I couldn't outrun you, or you and your buddies. What? Multiple opponents? Or you and your buddies. Yeah. And I still want to throw strikes. Now, I'm not, you know, I'm not riding a bicycle. Yeah. And I'm not just doing this, okay? You want to, like, really kick out and establish some distance, mm -hmm. okay? And also scream your head off. And if I have a safety item, I could possibly use that as well, like an alarm or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay? So if I kick my opponent in the shins, that's going to stop the fight. He's going to run away. That hasn't been my personal experience, but again, she's the expert. Let's find out what happens when we take her advice. OK, so the next technique is uh, kicking from the ground when we're fighting uh, multiple opponents. Remember, she said if, you're, if your uh, attacker brings his buddies with, um, so we're going to either kick their shins like this, scream our heads off, or use a safety device such as this alarm here. And we're all set. All right, guys, you ready? What's the feature? Let's go. Safety device. Why? Why? Take your shoe. Take your shoe. When your attacker comes in with a slow motion punch and just leaves his arm there, you can totally do this and take him down with this shoulder lock. Neat. Let's try it out live. Ali on the right in the black shirt has never seen the self-defense technique before. He's been instructed to throw a slow motion right hand to leave it there and then follow up with whatever he feels like. Jordan is attempting to finish this women's self-defense technique, but to no avail. And that didn't work okay. out very well. Yeah, so Ali still Ali doesn't know, doesn't know what the technique is supposed to look like. He throws a slow motion punch, Linji attempts to trap the arm, and he keeps attempting to trap the arm. And Ali just does whatever he wants to, clinching, pushing, <laughs> kicking. Now it's my turn. I even get my elbow in there, but nope. Trapped in a tight collar tie, eating knees. Okay. But why do you think people keep the punch there? <laughs> Nobody keeps yeah. it. Nobody would do that. Nobody yeah. would keep it there, right? They throw the punch and then they'll immediately follow up with another attack. Yeah, and very important, I didn't watch what they do. I was like watching another direction, so I didn't know how they will defend. So because it's just natural. Mm -hmm. Let's try to make this a little bit better. Okay. All right, this time Linji will be the attacker. Jordan will be the defender. Jordan will show us a more effective way to defend against an aggressive striker. Are you ready? And go. Ah! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you, you'll probably go to prison for that, but you can't say it doesn't work. So today we're going to defend ourselves against probably the most deadly street attack you will ever see. The poisonous wrist grab. Ah! Oh no! He is grabbing my wrist. Okay. If I do not escape immediately, I will surely die. So uh, instead of trying to pull away, I am going to push myself forward. I will duck under his arm. I will crouch down and... Um, Nils will be incapacitated by this counterattack. Okay. So, without any resistance at all, it seems to work pretty well. You you try it. Oh no, we transitioned to the deadly bear hug. <laughs> Let's uh <clears throat> hmm. you know a lot of people might say, well you guys are trained martial artists. People on the street wouldn't know the deadly bear hug technique. Here, let's uh let's just run through it a few more times with resistance here. Grab my wrist. Ah, here you try it, Nils. Oh, man. I can't believe that stuff didn't work. If only there was somebody who could teach me how to how to fix these bad techniques so I could show the people of YouTube something worthwhile. Oh wow, Captain Prod Magan, you came back. At this moment, I started to wonder, wait a minute, doesn't Captain Krav Maga wear a green belt around his head? Now, he's got the same beanie as Nils. Wait a minute, what's going on? Could it be? Could Nils? And Captain Krav Maga be? No, impossible. Captain Krav Maga wears glasses. Everybody knows that. Whereas Nils does not wear glasses. Yeah, now that we've got that out of the way, let's continue. Attack me. Okay. So what will you do now? It's very simple. You punch the groin. Knee the groin. Elbow the groin. Punch the groin. Knee the groin. Elbow the groin. And then... Eye gouge, both eyes, and then again, karate strike kick for at least 10 minutes. After that, you go for an eye gouge. And now, finally, attack me so I can demonstrate the Kraft Maga knife defense. Right. Cross motor skills. Kraft Maga. While 
this next technique may seem to defy logic, trust me, it is for the streets. When an attacker comes up behind you, putting a knife directly to your throat, make sure to bow your head and neck down as violently as you can toward the blade, mystifying your attacker. He will release the knife and become submissive. Ha ha, no more muggings for you, Mr. Yellow T-Shirt. In this next technique, the knife-wielding maniac will attack from behind. Oh no, he has put a knife to my throat. So the obvious answer, I will grab it and then bow down violently into the blade, <laughs> grab the knife by the blade, twist, he will let go for no discernible reason. And um, yeah, now let's try it against live resistance. Grab the knife by the blade, okay. <laughs> so, since it's a women's self-defense technique, we've decided to bring in an actual woman to try it. So this time, Karen's going to be the knife-wielding maniac, Jordan will be attacked by an actual woman, and he will attempt to defend himself. Ready? Let's go! Nope. Um, I don't know. I, Jordan, I don't think you bowed hard enough. Okay, we're gonna try this first technique. He's he's got the choke on me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use Gabriel Rubin's slot machine technique. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Right in the hip bone. Right. In the hip. Okay, so this time I'm going to be the attacker, and instead of just standing there, we're going to do a slightly more realistic scenario, and I'm going to drag Jordan away. He's going to use the slot machine technique to attempt to stop the chokehold. Ready? Hey, that's right in my hip bone! wrist hold. You kind of tuck really fast, mirror your hand, and you're going to grab underneath them. You're going to rotate, and you're going to bring this hip forward, and you're going to power out this way. Nose, you want to give it a try? So, grab my wrist over the top. Okay, go ahead and resist. Um, maybe we're doing it wrong. Okay, I, I'm bound and determined to get this, uh, this wrist escape thing to work because I know the internet will never lie to us. Let's try it again, Nils. Alright, grab that and that's funny thing. Oh! You okay? Nils, uh, Nils has, uh, some, some experience with other martial arts, especially, uh, martial arts that deal with wrist control, so... Do you have uh, any other ideas? Holy crap, that worked really, really well. I did not see that coming. Now, uh, Jessica here has not studied 
the uh, Marie Claire self-defense video. Have you? No. <laughs> She's not familiar with the techniques, so she is going to play the role of the unsuspecting attacker. Now, I have studied this uh, video meticulously um, over these last few months, and so I'm very familiar with these techniques. Jessica will attack me. I will attempt to fight her off using only the techniques taught in the video. Are you ready? Yep. Let's go. Yeah. Grab my wrist. Um, my other wrist. Okay, ready? Scenario, I'm going to be on the bottom. Uh, Jessica will have control of my wrists, and let's see if this works. First, you clean your room, then you clean his clock. Bucko. It's like you strike the knife out of his hand and hit him in the throat. Then, when he tries to hit you back, it's like you cross his arms and throw him on the floor, like Jung's collective unconscious. Because now he's probably unconscious. Next we dish out some purpose and meaning. Remember rule 6, set your house in perfect order. I'll set his spine in perfect order with a free spinal adjustment. Then go back to rule number one. Stand up straight with your shoulders back. Make sure to read my book on the 12 rules of butt kicking. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train.